guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm KJ, and after this video, you will understand a little bit more about my tedious obsession. So today's video is what I would call a sip and share. So a sip and share is just like me drinking tea, talking about tea-related things. And the reason that I want to do this is because sometimes I watch people's tea videos and like it doesn't matter what they're talking about. I find it very relaxing. I find it easy to relate to and I find it just like, hmm, sometimes I learn a lot of things. So this is just a random video, um, sip and share, tea related. Today in my Constellation David's Tea uh, Color Changing Nordic Mug, that was a lot of words. I'm drinking a fava tea. It's called Midsummer's Dream, maybe Midsummer Night's Dream doubt it. Um, one of the words is missing. It's a an herbal tea, what I think a green rooibos. It's really good. There's vanilla and like some lemon and it's like, hmm, it's, it's really nice and like soothing. Um, and I chose this because this is my first time drinking out of this mug. It's my first time trying this tea and um, yeah. Oh, so the reason I'm doing a sip and talk and not a review and the reason like I'm trying all these new things is because it's nighttime and all the teas I want to review are black teas and again like I can't drink black tea past 2 p.m. Otherwise like I'm up till like 3, 3 a.m. I'm just like what's up, what's up guys, what's up? Um, so today's video, what are we sipping and sharing? Today I'm sharing with you my biggest type of tea collection. So like not brand, but like literally type of tea. And so the number one tea that I own the most variations of is Earl Grey. So I love Earl Grey, I love bergamot, I love it in a black tea base. I love the citrus oils and I like, I like it when it's like spiced with like different things. Um, so today, I'm going to show you my Earl Grey collection. And just really quick, I'm just going to count. I'm meant to count before I hit play, but you know I can't. Okay, so. There was a time when I was, like, journaling about tea. And I technically still do. This entire moleskin journal, like, 50... Sorry. 80% of it is tea-related. Some of it is, like, life goals, but, like, who am I kidding? That's also tea-related. So, like, once upon a time... I, like, wrote this page called My Life with Earl, and I just, like, categorized all my different types of Earl Grey teas, um, and so I will start with David's Tea, and then I'll get to the other ones. So, to start with David's Tea, I used to own the Earl's Garden, but now I don't. Uh, I think I sold it. I didn't like it that much, but I still own the Earl's Valentine, and I have yet to open this. It's supposed to be one of my... Ugh, it's supposed to be one of my, like, about to review, um, teas. I know. And I think I got this from somebody in the, I definitely did, got this from somebody in the Facebook group. Yes. Um, my second, oh, man. Okay, so the list has changed. I'm not going to go through the list. I'm just going to go with what I got. So another iteration of David's tea that's like a neural gray is this bergamot kisses. So like I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be described as maybe an earl gray per se. Oh no, it's earl gray chocolate and roses. So this tea is really good. There's plenty of reviews um, on YouTube. I think Josh Hart did one. Pretty sure Steph did one. Uh, yeah, so they're out there. And then... Uh, my non-David's Tea Earl Grey's. So I have this one from a spice shop in Salem, Massachusetts. It's just an Earl Grey tea. It's actually really, like, it's so nice. I've had this. I, I make macarons out of this. So when I'm making, like, tea-flavored macarons, I, I grind this up really finely, and it's really good. Um, the second one that I have is this Earl Grey, and it's actually from London. Um, so my friends, my best friends who also got me the Sip Spy smells amazing. The Sips by subscription, they got me this little amount of tea too. Um, I don't know like how much is in here. I don't know like I thought about adding this to my sit down but it's like memorable and like once it's like so small once it's gone it's gone. Um, okay 
So then there's also, uh, maybe like seven ounces of Tivana Earl Grey White. So when I bought this tea, I was steeping it poorly. Like, it was so gross. It tasted like boiled hot dogs. <laughs> I don't really know where that came from, but I, I didn't realize it was a white tea. And this, I don't know, like, how early in the beginnings of my tea journey this was, but it was really disheartening. I figured it out, but I think I've, like, turned myself off to it because of the traumatic experience. Um, so then next, I have this Zest Tea um, Earl Grey. This actually is really delicious Earl Grey tea, but it's just so high in caffeine that I, like, I don't know. So, again, like, I gotta do it before 2 a.m. I mean, p.m. Otherwise, I'll be up till 2 a.m. See what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. So, then the next one is this Ambessa, um, the Earl of Harlem. So, this is a Harney and Sons tea, um, through a partnership with, I think, Marcus, um, Samuelson? He's like a chef. Yeah, Marcus Samuelson. Um, this is a really interesting Earl Grey because it, it's like Earl Grey, but also with, I think, a little bit of Lapsang Souchong. So, it's like a little smoky, um, it doesn't, so it's not lap song, but it's like black tea, jasmine tea, and natural flavors, but there's like a little essence of smoke in there. So I thought I wasn't going to like it, and I, I recently put it on my sip down list. I actually do like it, and like the tin is beautiful. God, this is gorgeous. Um, but it'll be a slow process because it's a caffeinated tea, and I have to drink it like super early in the day. Um, next one, oh, I forgot about this David's tea, and it's not even in my book. Whoa, I'm slacking. Um, so this is Earl Grey Rooibos. I didn't think I was going to like this because the rooibos smells very prominent. And you can taste it when you steep it, but it's just so, it's, it's good. Like, it makes a good latte. <gasps> I should have been drinking this because it's decaf. Oh, but I was trying new things. You get what I mean? Like, the whole point of this sip and share is to just vicariously live through myself because I cannot have Earl Grey right now because it's mostly all caffeinated. Ugh. Moving on. So, like, when I was living in Massachusetts, I was, like, again, just buying tea to buy tea. And this is from Home Goods to Jim Max. It's hard to open. I'm not even going to bother because I waste so much time. I don't even think I've tried this. Like, I don't even think I've opened it. I hoarded a lot of different teas because I knew that I was moving. And I was like, I'm just going to save it. Um, ugh, problematic. I know. Um, so this is Angelina Paris. Um, it's an Earl Grey tea. When I did get it open, it smelled decent. And then this is another one that I haven't yet opened. Like, oh my god. The ribbon is still there. Like, nobody's cut the ribbon and gone in. Discover a world of good taste. So this is Wittered um, Chelsea Earl Grey Black Tea with flavoring. Again, this is, it was just like, these tins are just so regal looking and I just felt like oh my god when I serve people this tea it's gonna be like <laughs> which Earl Grey would you like <laughs> it's a little late I'm slightly delirious but I'm also really excited to be talking about Earl Grey because I really want some so maybe after I finish this midsummer night dream from fava tea I might have an Earl Grey latte with the rooibos or <clears throat> with this decaf um bigelow earl grey tea so i like was looking for decaf tea before i found that rooibos and i was so thankful for this but there's just a little bit of caffeine in decaf tea um so can't drink this still too late and then here's the regular version so decaf regular earl grey comes in clutch lovely lovely bigelow like it's a fine tea company for a bag tea company um, the next one is this Twinings, uh, Earl Grey tea. I got this from, uh, a grocery store and, like, as you can see, it was on sale for 99 cents. I mean, for four teas, that's not, like, the great deal. Oh, I think I got this on sale. I feel like it was probably 50 cents, which is why I, like, snatched it up. Um, I haven't even tried that yet, so I wouldn't even, I couldn't even tell you what. <laughs> um, and then, so there's two more. This first one is from Jolie Tea Company, and I'll put some of the local, like, where I know I can get these teas. Uh, I'll put the links in the description. So this is called Gus the Chai Guy 
tea blend. And what's so unique about this tea blend is that it's like a mix of chai and Earl Grey. So it's like warm but bergamotty, and oh, it's like so nice. It it walks a fine, a very fine line, but it's like the balance is so great. So apparently there was this guy who always came into the tea shop who loved chai but also loved Earl Grey, and they would mix it for him all the time. And then finally they were making a new blend, like let's just make this Gus's blend. And then boop, it's like a thing now. And then the last one. So this one's last because it is my favorite Earl Grey. So like, as you can see, there's like 15 varieties here and I'll talk about a few that are not here that I don't like. Um, but this tea, Geschwetner, it's a German, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's German. German um, tea company, but like they're local to the Midwest anyway. There's like a, a storefront in Chicago and Illinois and like that's the only local one I know of but like they're not hard to find um, and they have like an online thing so I found when I was a teacher this was in a square ten of other teas that somebody was like do you want these teas and I was like yes that was like five years ago so then this year not this year 2018 I finally tried one of the teas in here well I've tried a few of them but like I finally got to this Earl Grey it's so good so like what are my notes like what did I say like oh my god so again like I can reference this little book of where I was like talking about teas Earl Grey probably the best Earl Grey I've tried and as you know we have 14 varieties <laughs> smooth not bitter didn't give me the jitters as some caffeinated black teas do so it was like so good and it was like not I didn't over steep it at all it wasn't burnt it was perfect um, and I felt great afterwards. <laughs> so, that's my favorite tea. I'm like, I'm not saving this pack for anything, but I, when I'm out of this and when I'm kind of done with a lot of those, I'm going to buy like a 10 of this because it was so good. So then really quickly, because this, this video is now 10 minutes, but again, it's just rambles. It's a sip and share. Um, so, teas, Earl Grey teas that I don't like. David's Tea, Organic Earl Grey, ugh, ugh. David's Tea, Cream of Earl Grey, I don't know, they're just not great. I had a um, sachet of the regular Earl Grey and it was just not good. And I didn't burn it because I was using like not even boiling water, but maybe that was the issue. I don't know. Since then though, I haven't bothered. Like, you won't catch me piling up on David's Tea, Earl Grey Tea. <sighs> I'm not, a, I'm avoiding it, yeah, because I have, I have no interest. It's not good. Um, yeah. Uh, and that's pretty much the only Earl Grey's that I don't like. So as you can see, I'm not buying any more Earl Grey's, besides, like, the Bergamot Kisses, because, like, limited edition, it was, like, delicious. Chocolate, roses, yeah. Um, this Tivana, like, I gotta get through a good chunk of this. Um, and it's going to be hard because, like, a lot of these are, like, super caffeinated and that means I have to drink in the daytime or on the weekend. But I have so many kinds of black teas like that. So, like, when will I ever finish? Like, there's 20 sachets in here. Well, now there's probably, like, 18. But I feel like I've drank six cups and I haven't. Okay, well, like I said, it's been a long day. I'm not going to, like, angry ramble. But that has been my collection of Earl Grey teas. That is the tea that I have the most of. So in the comments, leave the kind of tea that you have the most of. So like, do you have like a uh, English breakfast tea? I know Anna and I think her husband, um, I think their favorite tea is Irish breakfast. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Um, and then, uh, I don't know. That was weird. I'm sorry that I know that, but like, again, watch a lot of tea videos, and then it, it gets repeated a few times, so you kind of put it in your brain. Um, so anyways, I'm interested to hear the kind of teas that you guys have um, the most of. So type of tea, not brand of tea. Let me know. Happy sleeping. Bye!